I'm Nicki Minaj, and you're watching TT Torres TV. All you other girls, step your cookies up, because you're not TT. It's Barbie, bitch. All right, you have the album coming out and you have the new project. As a matter of fact, the new single is dropping soon, from what I've been told. Yes, um, but I'm focusing on the Young Money single, which is Bedrock. I don't know if you guys play it yet out here, but we're actually shooting a video for that on uh, Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I'm, I'm most focused on because that album drops on December 15th. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, you know, and I'm on tons of songs on that. So I think like for people that like Nicki Minaj, that's something that they can kind of like punch their thirst with real quick. I'm also mm -hmm. on Baby's album that drops on November 23rd. Gucci's album drops on my birthday, December 8th. And, oh, wow. Yeah. Is it a Sagittarius? Yes. My sister is a Sagittarius. What are you? I'm a Leo. Mm. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. See where the, yeah. You see where the drama comes from? Yeah. A Leo. Yeah. But my sister's Sagittarius, and I know how. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm also on, or oh, Rebirth also drops on December 18th, uh -huh. it's Wayne's rock album, and, um... Oh, so finally they got a release date, yeah, I know it's been pushed back a few yeah. times. It'll okay. Young Money and Wayne's album drops on that, on that day. Okay, mm -hmm. so Mac Main's on the album? As uh, well. he's on, yeah, Mac Main, everybody's on the, the how, Young How is Mac Main doing? He hit me up on Twitter. Uh, I mean, he's he's fine. I'm mean, Mac Man is like my big brother. He's like the sweetest, most genuine person. He's he's always doing fine. I, I remember Mac Man is so crazy. Like before Lil Wayne was really Lil Wayne, mm. I used to work in New York. Yeah, and um, they used to come by the studios, you know, because a lot of people in New York wasn't really embracing that whole movement, and he was just like so humble, and very really humble and sweet, and a sweet dude, yes. you know. And I was good to finally see his work, you know, paying off and whatnot. Definitely. Shout out to Mac. Hey Mac. Um, so anyway, so who, um, who else? I saw you guys on the source. You guys had the cover. Yeah, Which we didn't even know that. I, I had no idea that the source was going to do that. They just kind of took pictures and put it on there. So shout out to the source because that's obviously our first cover. Right. Some other magazines wanted to do it, with, you know, first, but um, I guess the source beat them to it. It was a good look for the source because yeah. when I picked up the magazine, I said, this might be the source little comeback right yeah, here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see that magazine all over now. Yeah. So shout out to them. Yeah. So you had the girls on stage going crazy. Are you surprised at, like, the, the feedback? that you've been getting? I, I can't lie, I am surprised. Yeah. I'm very surprised. I don't, um, you know, being a female, you never really expect to be kind of showered with love and stuff, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's difficult. So yeah, when I went out, their energy was insane. I have to really say thank you to everybody at VSU. Thank you to everybody that came out because this was like, the energy was insane. I mean, yeah. it was so much yeah. love and, it was just crazy. And I love signing boobs. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of cute. She had yeah. the girls come on stage and she signed their boobs and whatnot. Are you surprised at the energy because, you know, and I say this because when you're very vocal, and I'm speaking from first hand on the radio, and you kind of do what you want to do when people can't tame you, per se. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. kind of like you make your own moves, you call your own shots, and a lot of people deem that as maybe diva-ish or certain things, so you, get, you catch a lot of flack as a woman. Mm -hmm. But if you were a man, it would be totally different. Like, if I was, no disrespect, flex, but if I was flex or somebody of that nature, nobody would be calling the radio or texting somebody about something I said. You want to see what I'm saying? I, I, I definitely agree. Um, we, we, we are definitely, women are held to different standards. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's just the way it is. And yeah, and I always say, you know, nobody tells 50 and Wayne anything when they're taking their shirts off every night. I mean, yeah. that's, you could say that's selling sex. That's selling sex appeal, you right. know? And I respect, of course I respect Wayne and I respect 50 very much. So I think nobody makes a big deal, you know, but if, if a girl comes out in a cute little, you know, yeah. outfit showing some boobs or something, it's, it's some, you know, they got, oh, she's not a real rapper. Yeah. I write my own rap. I do everything on my own. So yeah. what 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 makes you say that? You well, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I got a lot of Twitter um, emails today, and I said, ask, send me Twitter requests for um, for Nicki Minaj and what you guys want me to ask her. And people were questioning your rap lyrics. Um, and I said, well, look at the battle she just did with the cipher because I was actually there. I saw you on the red carpet um, at BET yeah. Hip Hop Awards. You can check out the website for that. And people were saying, well, did she write that rhyme? And I was like, well, what does it matter if she could spit it? Because half of the rappers that do rap, nine times out of ten, they're writing their rhymes or reading it from their black Well, you know? can I say that, um, oh, you mean if I write, wrote it and did, wasn't off the top oh, of my head? Right. How many... How many people do you think on that cipher spit off the top of their head? Like, that's another thing. I'm glad you brought that up. 
Um, yes, I don't spit that off the top of my head. I can't come up with those punchlines and metaphors off the top of my head. And and ev everybody else besides besides KRS One, who, who else could you name that that freestyles off the top of his head? Shout out to Most Deaf and Black Thought and Eminem. Wasn't that crazy? Insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Insane. 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 But who? But do you think they did that off the top of their head? No. And I and I come on now. And that's the, and that's the point. They will tear apart a female. So, oh, well, she did a good verse, but she didn't write it. No, I, no, I mean, or, or she wrote it. Everybody wrote their raps for freestyle. Instead for, of just applauding the fact that exactly. you, did a, you did a good rap. Right? The only thing that matters is that I wrote it on a paper and memorized it. I don't need a dude to write my shit. Wayne never wrote my shit. No one writes my stuff because it's in here. What, it's not about what you have down here, you know what I mean, that makes you intelligent enough to yeah. write a rap. Yeah. And I think that's so corny. Were you um, nervous getting in the cypher with a whole bunch of dudes? Yes. Yeah. Were you, um, let me, were you surprised that people like um, Trina wasn't in the cypher or uh, Kim or any other females, you know what I'm saying? Just, um, you know, I think... Well, maybe with Trina, because I know, shout out to Trina, I love her to death. Um, I sometimes, honestly, and not 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 about Trina, because I'm sure Trina would have done it, if, you know, whatever. But a lot of the older girls, I think that they might think that the cipher is kind of like beneath them. You know what I mean? And so I can't blame them, but I also have to get get mine. Like I got to get in where I fit in, and I yeah. think it's dope for people to see female MCs in that light, yeah. in a cipher mode. Yeah. But you know what I noticed about Trina, um, just by following her on Twitter. And shout out to you, um, Trina. Can't wait for you to be on my mixtape. Anyway, um, she embraces you, and yes. she makes it very vocal yes. that she embraces you. What I don't understand is how come other female rappers haven't come out and like really gave you that salute, that yeah. co-sign, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I gotta shout out to Foxy, cause Foxy, I mean, even though she might not be vo very vocal and in the public eye, Foxy was one of the, f the first female rappers to say, I got your back, Nick, like, let you know, whatever you wanna do, I got your back. Uh -huh. Now, she and I don't correspond as often as me and Trina do, but she always kinda gave me her blessing, so I have to shout out Foxy, but with all the other girls, I don't know why. I think it's natural for, for everyone to, to kinda, I think sometimes you, your intimidation makes you just sit back and wait and hope Nikki doesn't pop off. And if she does pop off, uh oh, it's too late. Wait, hold on, maybe you know, you but, know, you know what I mean. It's like it's like that. But but but, but how dope would it be though for Trina, you, Kim and Fox record, or just you, Kim and Fox, just a New York girl record? Yeah, New York, that would be stupid. Wouldn't that be stupid? Insane. Just like put aside the egos yeah. and just put a, a girl power record out right now. Right, because it's kind of crazy that you know. Kim and Foxy are from, you know, they're both from New York, and I happen to be from New York. It's insane. Yeah. New, York, New York breeds great female rappers. It and does. I so myself. Uh, so, <laughs> look, I was looking at a video of the other day. Let me see your nails. Because uh, remember when you, you first came out, you used to have those signature long nails? Yeah. You don't do that no more. No. Why not? When I saw it back, well, well, the real reason is that I moved from New York, and the girl, uh -huh. this girl named Xena in Queens, she used to hook me up. You, uh -huh. you might know Xena. She used to be like, I think, in the Coliseum. Now she's on Merrick. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But she, she gets busy. And but, Queens on Merrick Boulevard, yep, right? Yeah, she's right there. And she, she Sorry, does guys, that's New York. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, she used to hook me up with the designs. And when I moved to Atlanta, I didn't trust anybody else. I just cut them off. As right. soon as I, the day I moved to Atlanta.